Good afternoon, uh, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Rachel Kite. I'm the uh, Secretary General's Special Representative for Sustainable Energy for All. And it's my uh, great pleasure to welcome you to this uh, session on uh, Sustainable Devel Development Goals 7, Leave No One Behind. We, we have a, a wonderful panel now. Um, uh, my, my dear friend and colleague, Achim Steiner, the administrative, administrator of UNDP, my dear friend and colleague, Pumzali uh, Lambo Nuka from the executive director of UN Women, Ajaita Shah, who is a great, uh, a great leader um, of women and of the private sector from India, and uh, Bjarni Bjarnason, who's the CEO of Reykjavik Energy. Um, and so maybe I should come to you, Ajita, and... Uh, why don't you speak of what you know as well? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, distinguished guests, panelists, uh, ministers, and everyone for giving me this opportunity as a social entrepreneur to come and talk about frontier markets and what we do in India. Frontier Markets has built a model to increase access to clean energy solutions for rural households at scale by putting women at the center of the value chain. Our 1,000 women entrepreneurs, or solar sahelis, use their own experiences and challenges due to the lack of reliable electricity to relate to households and bring solutions to the forefront through marketing, sales, after sales service, and finance. Training these women and giving them an opportunity to earn income has been the biggest success factor. Women understand the need for energy because as we've heard already, they deal with this reality in every way more than anyone else. In India, 270 million people do not have access to 24 by seven power and women are at the center of this value chain. Solar Sahelis have helped 400,000 households access um, clean energy solutions and earned over $2 million of income in the last three years, which they then used to invest into their families and into their communities, impacting over 2.1 million people. It's the deepest impact we look to strive to achieve. Money, helping other earn, people earn money, using money to then invest in other people to earn money, and then money rotating on a regular basis. It's music. However, there is an evolution and this evolution requires further intervention. Households are asking for much more than lighting now. They want power, they want appliances, they want quick service, and they want access to finance to make it happen. So in order to do this, we need to also then further invest in our women. Give them access to digital and technical training. Give them access to working capital. Build their skills to manage other entrepreneurs to drive sustainable impact across the value chain. To succeed, we need to change our mindset and understand the investment better. Banks have capital and intent, but they're not structured to provide low interest loans to women without collaterals or credit history. Investment vehicles have capital, but they aren't ready to take the risk of investing in women. They might face larger challenges or maybe longer time to help households truly adopt to electricity sustainably. Our experience proves that she's the right investment. We have conducted several pilots with key partnerships with philanthropic organizations, nonprofits, corporate partners, testing the outcomes of blended capital, access to mobile phones and internet, and investing in training. It works. Our entrepreneurs are now leading managers and creating new sahelis. They're collecting data through mobile phones, which includes what everybody wants right now for their reporting, needs assessments, village information, monitoring activities, real-time outcomes based on interventions. And they've also been able to use their working capital to increase their outreach and conversion by 33%. One woman times 33% of scale, it's massive. We recently announced an exciting initiative called Women Prosper, which is in partnership with Barefoot College to tackle this in a more systemic way. A disruption of the status quo, where for-profit and not-for-profit compete in splinter resources, driving two very different approaches, neither one holistically formed to ensure a long-term solution and lack the lack of energy access and inclusion of women for development. Women Prosper, which is the Frontier Markets Barefoot College baby, was a deconstructed solution that brought partners together to co-design and design around the barriers that stop women from fully participating in their own economic prosperity. 
It is grounded in a sound investment that in every woman will be able to get a return of 20x in the first five years. But not only through sales of renewable energy products, but in building customer networks, data and linkages that will place her and us in a position to reach millions with life-changing solutions. Through partnerships with government, nonprofits, corporates, investors, and development agencies, Women Prosper will build a network of 10,000 women impacting 30 million people by 2022. The solution for success is accessing a full financial spectrum from philanthropy to pure capital, investment around all the products in between. To align this though, we need the right kind of funding to put a puzzle together that makes sense for every participant to develop key performance indicators that properly align with the type of funding that we're receiving so the stakeholder knows what is being delivered and also what they're learning. Look, the old paradigm isn't working. There's too much duplication, there's too much splintering of resources, and all that are not helping us scale quickly or efficiently without comprehensive impact. It's time to set the bar higher to demand social behavior change needed to drive increased energy consumption for whole communities upward the energy spectrum, beyond time, for every household to be powered by clean energy sustainably. We're calling on partners to bring consumer credit for the unbanked, work with us on smart subsidies, let's use fintech, right? let's use state-of-the-art data collection for a new model that will deliver over 70% of the rural market in India. In this partnership, India is our first area of investment. That is where we've all been kind of working for the last many years. But it's there to build model for replication. Barefoot College has presence in over 96 countries. And through the people-centered accelerator initiative that was started by the Sustainable Energy for All, we will be able to collaborate with other organizations that are keen to replicate this model in their countries, focused on, of course, Asia and Africa. Join our movement to prove that investing in women is smart business, the key to poverty alleviation at scale, and truly leaving no one behind. Thank you.